Mr. Altmaier, Pennsylvania. Madam Speaker, I rise tonight to pay tribute to Bobby Bowden, who will coach his last game on January 1st. Coach Bowden will retire following the Gator Bowl, ending an amazing career of one of college football's most successful coaches. Many of us may not realize that Bobby Bowden was an outstanding football player in his own right. He graduated from Woodlawn High School in Birmingham and achieved his dream of playing quarterback for the University of Alabama before transferring to Howard College, now Samford University. After college, Bowden worked his way up to become head coach for four years at Samford and later was head coach for six years at West Virginia. But it's his 34 years as head coach at Florida State for which he will most be remembered. In 1976, he took the reins of a Seminoles team that had gone winless the previous season. And from that unlikely beginning, he built one of the powerhouses of modern college football. During his 34 years at the helm of Florida State, he led his teams to 31 bowl games, including the past 28 years in a row, during which he once went 14 consecutive bowl games without a loss. He was named Coach of the Year six times and is already a member of College Football's Hall of Fame. And from 1987 to 2000, Bowden's Florida State teams compiled a streak of 14 consecutive years in the season-ending top five. During that time, he coached two Heisman Trophy winners and his Seminoles played in five national championship games, winning two. And it was in the beginning of that streak, in the late 1980s, that I first encountered Coach Bowden. As he did with so many, he left upon me an indelible impression. As a walk-on on the Seminole football team, I had the good fortune to see firsthand Coach Bowden's rare skill on the practice field, but it was his kindness and generosity away from football that I will most remember. While serious about winning, with the results to prove it, what most stands out about Bobby Bowden is his love of people. Known for his down-to-earth colloquialisms and disarming Southern drawl, he can charm even the most intense personality. He is never at a loss from words, and sports writers across the country will surely miss his quick wit and accessibility. On the Seminole practice squad, I occupied perhaps the lowest possible position on the team, yet Coach Bowden treated me and every player with respect. When you cross paths with him, he never failed to ask about your schoolwork, your family, your hometown, or some other personal fact about you that he somehow remembered. And I used to think that this was just coincidence or somehow related just to me. But what you quickly learn in spending any time around Bobby Bowden is that he's like that with everyone, not just on the team or on campus, but anywhere he goes in the country, whether it be an alumni meeting, a business luncheon, or a church service. He has that rare ability to make a personal connection with everyone he meets. It's why the National Citizenship Award, presented annually by the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, now bears his name. So for all his success as a football coach, the true legacy of Bobby Bowden is the impact he has on people and the lives he has touched. Just as much as his coaching record, the relationships that he built and friends he made during his 80 plus years and counting will long be remembered. My best wishes and congratulations go out to Bobby and Ann Bowden as they now embark on this next chapter of their lives together. I yield back my time.